my name is Jennifer. I'm uh, 36 years old. And in October of 2009, I had a vaccine. And uh, the same day, I had a reaction, a bad reaction to the vaccine. And within two days, I started with uh, severe uh, pain in my right ear. Balance issues. I couldn't uh, lean over. I would fall. Um, horrible headaches, head pain, uh, electrical shocks, numbness and tingling all over my body, um, migraine headaches, trouble swallowing, chewing. Um, I also had a newborn at the time, uh, four months old, and I had to stop breastfeeding. I couldn't do that. I was getting uh, infections. And uh, I started, I saw a doctor immediately, and I went through uh, months of not being diagnosed, very sick. It was transient, but when I would have the flare ups, uh, they were pretty bad. I would get electrical shocks all over my body. I would shake as if I was convulsing, and nobody could touch me very cold sensitive. Uh, I had visual and auditory hallucinations. Trouble with my vision, my hearing. Uh, I couldn't be touched by my children. I had three children um, at the time, 12, 2, and a newborn, and uh, couldn't hold them anymore. I was falling, uh, walk and just fall very uh, sensitive to touch. I also had to stop driving. So I lost all control of my life, all independence, all normalcy. And uh, married and with a family. And wasn't able to do normal activities anymore. Went through 12 doctors of many different kinds. Um, family doctors, chiropractors, neurologists, pain management, um, infectious disease, internists, and nobody could figure out what was wrong. And nobody would agree with me that before the vaccine I had, I was never sick. I uh, would never even take a Tylenol. No neurological symptoms at all. February of 2011, uh, we were referred to uh, Dr. Robert Schwartzman by my family doctor, Dr. Renza, um, at Drexel University. And we were told that he had a long waiting list. So um, go ahead and call because you need to try and get into him because he's the best and he'll figure out what's wrong with you. I called and sure enough, they said it would be about six months and they put me on hold and they said, we have a cancellation, can you come in tomorrow? So we were seen right away and within five minutes diagnosed with uh, systemic reflex sympathetic dystrophy uh, attributed to the vaccine damage. And uh, so he said the only treatment for the disease was the ketamine and not covered by insurance, and there was some preparatory things we had to do, some testing and clearance. And so I went through all the different tests, and one of them was a spinal tap, and I was re-injured in the spinal tap, which within one day, um, well, I was vomiting, and on top of all of my other symptoms, vomiting and horrible pain, and within two days, um, not able to um, move on my left side, I was dragging my leg. So we went back to Philadelphia, I was hospitalized for 11 days. Uh, they tried the IVIG on me, but then said I had to start ketamine immediately because it would be the only thing that um, helped all the symptoms and hopefully put the disease into remission. So, I went through the ketamine program in about uh, 13 months, and it was not effective. $13,000 later, and um, still very sick. 
and at this point became progressive. I started having trouble with uh, breathing, uh, incontinence, gastric paresis, uh, horrible swelling of the legs and the feet, color changes. Um, I did not sleep. I, if, if, if I slept, it might have been two hours during the day, hours, I would be up all night on high dosage pain medications. Nothing helped. And in the very beginning of my story, when I first got sick, a friend of ours advised us to look up Dr. Spiegel. But our path went uh, a different way. And, um, so with me getting progressively worse, and we had tried everything, um, and really life was looking like pretty soon there would be no life, because um, I was shutting down. So my husband looked up Dr. Spiegel, National Hyperbaric Treatment Center in Palm Harbor, Florida. And we thought, well, my husband said, Jennifer, I want you to look at this. I want you to look at this website. You have to check this out. Well, at that point, I was, I had, even though I had children to live for, uh, I had, I'm going to say give up because I almost gave up. <laughs> I also couldn't tolerate, I hadn't watched TV very much or um, talk on the telephone. All these things aggravated me. I had um, my right auditory nerve in my ear was damaged somehow by the vaccine and so I'm very noise sensitive. My husband put the computer, the laptop in front of me in bed because I had pretty much been bed bound um, for many days at a time. And he put the little speaker things in there and put it on low so I could hear your, uh, the testimonials. the testimonials and all of your information on your site. So I listened to it and I knew that I had to call. So I called and the first person I talked to was Georgia, who was amazing. And then the second person I talked to was Marcia, who explained what we had to do. Um, to, ha to have the hyperbaric treatment for the RSD. And I thought, how are we going to do this? <laughs> but we did. We dropped everything and we came down here and I, uh, within two days the swelling in my legs went completely down. I could um, wiggle my toes, which I could not do before. I could not move my legs. I could not wiggle my toes. I pretty much stayed in my wheelchair and would transfer from my wheelchair to bath or toilet or to bed. And that was my life. So within two days the swelling went down on my legs. I could move my toes. Sleep. I was sleeping through the night within two days. I have slept through every single night and it's five weeks later. Uh, my pain went down from an eight and a half or ten every day for years. It went down to a five. And now it's, it's even lower. I have very little pain, um, except for the, rehab, the rehabilitation and therapy. Um, that's uh, no pain, no gain. And that's good pain. And it goes away. Um, so I'm now uh, freedom with RSD. Uh, I can function again. I'm cooking. I'm driving. Within two and a half weeks, uh, of having the oxygen, I was driving again, holding my children, jumping on my lap, um, standing, moving around. In the water and the beach? Went swimming in the water on the beach, which I hadn't done for four years, three, three years, three or four years, and um, I have quality of life back. Uh, everything is returning. I think everything has everything's back and I'm uh, happy and I have a life to look forward to again. And it's a wonderful treatment, it's a wonderful office, wonderful staff.
wonderful doctor. Um, and I was told, I was told through all of this that hyperbaric treatment would never work. Never work for RSD. You're wasting your time, you're wasting your money. Um, from the best all doctors my, in the from world. the best doctors in the world told me, best doctors in the world told me, don't waste your time or money, it won't work. And I said, don't you at least want me to try? We're talking about my life here. I tried because uh, you have to keep fighting. You have to keep trying and this is the place to come to because it, it can give you your life back. I mean, it will. I see a lot of people here who are doing very well, very happy, very happy. And, um, well, I can, I can stand and I can move around and <laughs> haven't done that in 21, 22 months. So thank you.